hi guys welcome back to my channel it's thursday it's i'm starting to get a little panicked because we're getting closer to monday and i'm so um crazed right now trying to get everything done yesterday was wednesday and i stayed home i did my trainings from home and i'm feeling rested so i feel a little bit better i feel like i can get started today i can get the ground running on planning um, we have a meeting beginning at 8.30, and our PTA is serving us breakfast this morning, so I'm going to go down here in a minute and get breakfast um, and then do my meeting. But I wanted to show you a few things. So last night, I was trying to do work on my slides, and I got a few slides done, but I um, tried to record one for you. I was using all different programs on my Mac to try to... Um, screencast those so that you could see what I was doing and none of them were working correctly. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it was, I was tired last night. Um, you know, after you've been sitting down in front of a computer literally since eight o'clock in the morning and it's nine o'clock at night, I think I was a little delirious. So I don't know. I ended up recording one on Zoom and if that footage turns out, I'm going to insert that right here. So my plan was to build a bunch of slides yesterday um, for the first day of school, procedure slides and then lesson slides and all that kind of stuff. And I like using Google Slides, but last night it just, I was tired and it wasn't working. So I'm gonna get that knocked out today. I'm gonna get my slides done. Um, we have some slides that our district use. I think I mentioned this in that video. We have some slides that our district sends out to us. So I may like um, cut and paste some of those. And if I do, I won't be able to show you those slides, but I'll try to show you what I can. So today um, I'm, I'm having a real bad problem with this camera. I love this camera. It takes great um, stills, which is what we got it for my daughter for was for her photography. But the video mode on it, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm sure you have, but the sound on my camera was not matching up with my mouth in some clips. And it would only do it in some clips and not in others. So I'm going to do my best to try to just film as much as I can from my phone today. I'll put in a few things from the camera, but until I can figure out the settings on this camera that, um, that are probably just not set correctly, then I'm probably going to try not to use it too much just because that's really annoying. I know it's annoying to try to watch a video and um, there be like the mouth is moving like this and the sound is really slow and I couldn't get it matched up. I tried everything. So my apologies. I seem to have nonstop camera issues. Hopefully I can buy a really wonderful vlogging camera soon, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna use my phone as much as I can today because I don't wanna not film. I want you to see what's going on. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you where I'm at and then I'm gonna go down and get breakfast. Okay, guys, I got, I ordered this bag off of Amazon and I will put it in the description. I'm still trying to decide whether or not I like it, but I, I think I do. So I left the tag on it and I loaded it today with my stuff, but I wanted to show you my new teacher bag. I have had the same Vera Bradley laptop bag for about 10 years and it was starting to rip and pull and tug and just come come apart on me. Um, probably cause you know, we overload our bags, don't we? So I decided to treat myself and splurge <clears throat> on this $25 <laughs> teacher bag. I don't remember which um, vlogger, which teacher vlogger I saw this on. If I can find um, the, the video that I saw this on, I will try to link it, but I will definitely link this bag because so far it's fantastic. It's like a really thick quality, um, I think it's leather-ish maybe, or, you know, fake leather, you know, it's got a really nice big pocket up front. I think this is where I'm going to keep my wallet. Um, but let me open that and I'll show it to you. See how big that is? I guess I could put like a pencil pouch and put pencils and stuff that I use all the time in there and that may be what I do. Um, but here's the inside. So I went ahead and I'll pull this stuff out here in a second. But look how deep that is. So this is all of my files and my notebooks and stuff 
and stuff that I've worked on at home. And then on this side, I have my laptop and my iPads down there. And then over here, I just stuck my cord in because I needed to bring my cord today. <clears throat> but it is huge. It is long. It is huge. These straps are sturdy. It's fantastic. So I think I love it. I'm going to go ahead and take the tag off of it. And for the price, I don't like backpacks. I'm, I'm just never, I have my backpack purse and I think I'm going to take everything out of here that I need and just put it in there. So I'm only carrying one bag. Let me flip it around. Okay. So, um, I don't like backpack, um, teacher bags. They just, they're not my style. Um, I don't know why, cause I love my backpack purse, but I don't like backpack teacher bags. But if you like backpack teacher bags, I know that there's been one that a lot of people have been purchasing from Walmart and it's like 50 ish dollars, but I've been watching that one on Amazon for a long time. I'm pretty sure it was $50 in the $50 range. Um, and I got it the other day when I saw it pop up on my Amazon wish list that I have. Um, and then it was the price was marked down. I was like, okay, I'm ordering this because um, my other bag was falling apart and I was, I was going to have to buy a new bag anyway. The Walmart one that everybody's talking about, I think is a backpack. So I just kept, I couldn't pull the plunge on it. And then I saw that one. So I think I'm going to be really happy with it. So let me show you what I think I'm going to do today. And this is kind of crazy. Bear with me on this. But I talked about this a little bit in my video the other day. And I'll put that in the cards up there. But I think this is what I'm going to do today. Okay. So in one of our other classrooms, um, I saw the teachers had moved their teacher desk right here. So the teacher desk was right here. This was spun around facing that way. And then they had like all of their teacher cabinets and stuff in the corner. So it didn't change much, but it kind of worked. And it just made this to where it wasn't sticking out. So this was flipped around. Um, so it wasn't sticking out. So it kind of gave more space to this area, which I may need because I may have to push this table area back or I may have to like separate out and do like two desks up here so that only one student is sitting at a desk and then move like a desk over there because I think I'm going to have to spread those four seats out. My plan was to just have them spread out a little bit but still kind of in a pod and just have one student on one end and one student on another end but that's still not enough space between them. So that's what I'm thinking. So I thought maybe if I rearranged a little bit over here, <sighs> hmm, I don't know, cause I have a lot of stuff. Well, maybe I can downsize the stuff, which all of this is stuff that my students are gonna get. So all of that's going away. I can obviously move this car pretty easily. This is a, a thing that can go over there in the corner. It'll fit nicely. I think that all that stuff will be okay, even with the desk on this side. It just, I don't know, I, I, it may work. My problem is once I start doing that, all of my stuff is plugged in over there, which I have a plug right there on the wall, so it would be okay. I could plug everything in right there. And I'm not sure, I don't know, I don't know. By the time you see this video, I will have either done it and then moved it back so we'll see.
that took a lot. I'm gonna stand over here for a second. It's hot in this room. I don't know if the air conditioners just aren't working today, but of course this is the day I wore jeans because we're doing a grade level video for families today. <laughs> so I wore jeans with my first grade shirt and I'm dying y'all. Oh, okay, sorry about the fan noise. So let me show you a little close up of what I did. So I moved my desk down and then I had to completely unhook everything from that and like rearrange it. But I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it, which is a problem because that took a lot of work. I like that box being a different direction and I actually think I might want to put it up against the wall instead of that direction. And I like the fact that there's a little bit more space over here because I can, I can technically, I can move this down and back. Let me try that. Let me put you down. Okay. So I wanted to show you an overview of what I've done. I'm going to leave those two together because I don't really have any other option at the moment, but I did separate out these two, but I'm going to have to move this one a little bit further back because it's too close to that table because I'm going to have somebody sitting on this end, somebody sitting on the other side, and then somebody sitting on the other end. And then I've got this one. I moved that over there for now and took the cushion off and I'm just going to take the cushion home. So what do we think about that? And then I've got a desk back here. I've got three stools there just to show where I could put kids for groups. There is two feet between those students. And I think at, as time moves on that we're going to have dividers between our table or I'm going to make something plexiglass something. Um, so that should be okay. And then I spread those three discs out and I still have my carpet. So I think that is spread out. So I can fit one, two, three, and then three at this table and three at this table. So that's nine. And then 10, 11, 12, 13 kids there. And then I have the two 14, 15 kids. I can have them spread around the room so they can use those and sit. I think that's going to work. It's not pretty. It's not what I want, but it is safe. They're spread out. I figured I would think of a way to make it work. And I think rearranging like that kind of helped. It helped move this table a little bit. I don't know. I don't know because I could still have it back the way it was and then I have like a little extra space over here so I just don't want any wasted space and I hate when my teacher space takes up so much that's why I don't like teacher desks because if I didn't have that there I could have this all the way up against the wall and there would be so much more room for students I could move this table over but we have to have those so I don't think there's anything else I can do. So that's what we look like right now. So I am not going to do any more rearranging today. I'm going to be done. I'm going to let myself sit on this um, today and see what I think. The only other thing that I think I might do to play around with it, and I may do this tomorrow, is I may swivel this so that it's up against the wall. I may move this on the other side. I may move all that stuff back. And I may move my filing cabinet over here, the, my um, either my small one or my big one, just so that I can clean up that space back there a little bit more. But, but I don't use, I mean, I use that tall filing cabinet more than I use this one. This is like lots of extra resources. So I'm going to sit on this right now and I'm going to start working. So I'm going to move my chair over here and I'm going to put you guys down and I'm going to start building some slides and working on lesson plans and if I do any lesson planning I will do it right here so you can see it so I'm gonna okay guys so I'm gonna do some planning um, it's gonna be pretty rough but I'm going to just show you where my thoughts are on this and um, of course it will probably change as we get more information but I'm gonna go ahead and get started with some things so I can um, load things in our online platform that they will need for Monday so these are my stickers for 
the um, subjects. I still think I might need those, so I'm just going to move them down over here. But I told you yesterday that I wanted to put times over here, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put times on this side. So I'm going to click on my little magnifying glass and put that on the first box. Let me turn this sideways. And make sure you can see. So we sign on. The students should be all signed on by about 8.45 but I know it's gonna take longer, so I'm gonna have this time starting a little bit later, 8.45 to 9.15. Um, hopefully we can get started with our, our procedures. So we're gonna start our greeting. I'm just going to say hello, give them time to sign on. Then we're going to do our um, morning song, which is called A Beautiful Day, and the procedures for that, because that'll be the same in the classroom. We're gonna do our morning meeting. That's the slide I did for you last night. And the procedures for morning meeting here in the classroom. And then we're gonna do calendar. And again, this is probably all going to take way longer than the 30 minutes that I have blocked out. And um, that's just an adjustment that we'll have to make. That's how first day of school is all the time. And especially this year, I'm sure it's going to be longer. I'm gonna move my little magnifier down. I'm gonna change my color to blue. So now we've got, it's about 9.15. We're going to move straight into our story. So, oops, sorry. I just hit my tripod. Um, we're going to read our story. Oh, what is the name of our story that I just ordered? I'm going to have to pull it back up. On. I'm videoing with my phone, so I can't pull it up on my phone, but we're going to read our story. And then we're going to talk about rules of online learning, expectations, that sort of thing. Oops. Oh, man. I had the thing too high. Oops. Let me turn that down. Sorry. It's a good thing, I guess, about digital planning is that it's much easier to erase. So rules of online learning and expectations. And then I'll probably put them in breakout rooms and let them talk to each other for a little bit. Um, and I'm going to actually plan this into my day. I'm going to build this in to my day. Anywhere that the students are going to have a break, I'm going to put that in. I might create like a break sticker. So break from hopefully 9.45 to 10. Okay. But at this point, it may be closer to 10.15, which is okay because they're supposed to have um, our specials. So they would get a break anyway from 10.15 to 11. So if they come back at 10, then I will just do um, like a getting to know you activity. I'm gonna just put that in here in red. 10 to 10.15. Actually, we're probably gonna have to talk about how they get navigating our online system. So I'm just gonna put that in there. I'm gonna move my time. So let me move my time. And I'm putting this in red because this is not time that I am going to have to, oops. Um, be actually instructing them, it's a little different. So I just want them to have that in there. This is basically just a rough plan for me for that day. Okay, so they're gonna come back at 11. Make sure you can see that. So from 11 until, hmm. I'm looking at my clock right now, trying to plan this out. 11 until probably 11.30, we're gonna do 
um, first day jitters. Again, nothing follows a normal plan on the first day of school. It's kind of all hodgepodge of, of how can you teach them rules and procedures by still having kind of a fun day. So first day jitters, and then we're going to do, I'm gonna ask them some questions. So I'll just put question. And then we're gonna do how you felt response. And then they're gonna to have to go into the online platform and pull up that. So I'm gonna to have to show you, let me come over here to my side. So I have to put their first assignment on, I'm just gonna put first day jitters online because they're gonna have a response to that. And I'm gonna to have to show them where that is. So that's going to be that's going to be something that's, let me put that in blue. Model, where? Assignments are. So I'll have to go through that. That'll take a long time to, to model that for them and, um, and their parents. So that's going to be longer than 30 minutes, I know it. So at this point in time, I'm going to give them time to do that. That'll run until 12, so I'm going to put again on here 1130 to 12. They're going to work on that assignment. I'm going to be available if they have questions. Um, and then they can message me or talk to me online. I'll be around. And then, look, I'm already at the end of the day here. So this is why I never plan on my <laughs> teacher planner because I run out of space. Um, I may have to go back and just do this on a, on a notebook page. I can't always do. Um, I think I'm gonna have to do that because I'm, I've got so much more to put in here. So let me stop for a second and let's see. Let me put, let me, I know there's a notes page on here. Let me see. Notes. Okay, so I'm going to do it on this page, on the notes page. Sorry. I'm going to go back. I won't do that on camera. I'll just load everything in here and I'm going to pause you and I'm going to come back and explain the end of my day. Okay. So I went ahead and like lined everything out and I know I'm going to have to go back up in here, especially in the top because I'm going to need to do, um, my slide with them of, uh, rules for online learning on all that and that's going to take a little bit of time like what school is going to look like slides and that sort of thing but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys so 8 45 to 9 15 we're going to greet each other we're going to give kids plenty of time to sign on figure it out um, once I see that most everybody's in the classroom then I'm going to teach them our beautiful day song um, and do our morning meeting and our calendar and our procedures for that I always like to um, say good morning to every one of my students, and then I expect them to respond with good morning, Mrs. Christopher Foley, um, and looking me in the eye and speaking clearly. Um, when we're in class at our morning meeting, and I showed you the morning meeting slide, but we also spend time talking to each other, sharing our um, how we're feeling, our emotions and all that, but the first day of school is we keep it pretty simple. Um, hopefully when we get done with that, we'll have a little bit of time to get up and move around and do our Hegarty. Um, our school district just bought into, um, Hegarty Phenomic Awareness. It's fantastic. I definitely recommend you looking into it. Um, but I want to start with day one, them knowing those procedures. So we're going to go ahead and do Hegarty and then we'll move into, uh, Pigeon Goes to School is another book that I know I have on hand that I want to use instead of David Goes to School. Um, I just want to give them some variety. And David Goes to School um, is really good. I, I feel like kindergarten um, really could use David Goes to School. It's a little bit, um, I mean, the kids love it, but I don't know. 
it's like um, the No David where he runs down the street naked. I just, I want to stay away from that right now, especially digitally. <laughs> so we're going to do Pigeon Goes to School. We're going to talk about our rules for online learning, our quiet signal when we're doing online learning, what that looks like and sounds like, um, and where to find their assignments. I'm going to have to give, show them and their parents how to navigate our online system. So I think that's actually going to take a lot of time. So I planned out 45 minutes for all of that together. And then they're going to need their break. So they're going to have their activity break um, where they have to go on and do um, our, our PE, music, and art classes. We'll have things for them to do. Hopefully the first day of school, it won't be too much, but they'll have that. Then they're going to come back. We're going to read first day jitters. We're going to attempt the breakout rooms with them. So we'll hope, hopefully that'll work out. And then we're going to talk about, I keep writing on this. We're going to talk about how they felt and I'm going to show them where that assignment is. Um, so after we get done with that, then they're going to have a lot of work time. They're going to have 1130 to 12 to work through this assignment and have some kind of free time. They can get up, go to the bathroom. And I'll talk to parents about how all of these times when we're not on camera, that is their time to get their assignment done. And if they get their assignment done, then and they're, they're in their home. They're gonna, their kids, they're six. They're gonna wanna go back to their rooms and play, or they could be in their room and they're gonna be distracted, or they may wanna go get a snack from the kitchen, that sort of thing. So all of these break times are their times to kind of get up and move around, um, you know, and, and do what they need to do. 1230 to 115 is our lunch time here at school that we have blocked off. So I'm going to try to train them that that's their lunch time. I may actually schedule a time later on up in here for them to go get a snack and have a break. In fact, it'll probably be somewhere around the 930 mark, um, 10 o'clock, sometime like that. So 10 to 1015, they have a break. They go um, outside and run around, they get a snack, and then they go and do their activity lessons but I know the first day of school is going to take a lot longer, so we're just going to roll with it. I ha don't have anything in here from 12 to 12.30, so I may still be having to do, like, make up some of this time up here, so I'm just going to leave that blank. Um, and then, like I said, their lunch and their free time at school, our recess has to be indoors for a while, so we're going, because they want to reduce student movement, so we're going to be doing Go Noodle a lot, um, coloring at their seat, Play-Doh, um, stem bins, that sort of thing, stuff to let them play and just relax. But at home, they can go outside. So I'm going to really encourage outside play. I'm going to encourage, you know, even if it's five minutes riding their bike, going outside, taking their dog for a walk, whatever I can so they get some fresh air. Um, and then if not, then, you know, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. 115 to 2. We're gonna go ahead and start with our math lesson. Super easy, I already have PowerPoints built for it. I can't show you those because there are district PowerPoints, but they are shapes. And then we're gonna talk about procedures for math and what they're gonna do with their tools. They're gonna to get a grab and go math bag. They're gonna to have to come pick it up sometime next week, but I wanna show them their math bag and what they expect. I'm not gonna send home the math boxes that I've built. Um, because I'm afraid some of those won't come back, but I am going to send home like Ziploc bags with some of the same materials, if that makes sense. And I'll show you those here in a little bit. 2 to 2.30, we're going to talk about our end of the day procedures. Um, we're going to share with each other our thoughts and our feelings on distance learning. And the, you know, we're just going to chit chat and talk for a little bit. And then I'm going to do a read aloud. I always read Judy B. Jones to my students from day one. I think I'm going to continue reading Judy B. Jones. She's snarky and sarcastic and silly, but students, they just love her so much. And I cut out a lot of the language that she uses that's not appropriate. So the students can't see that anyway, but they just love listening to her because they relate to her. So, and I like to alternate that between that and Magic Treehouse. So we're gonna keep doing that. And then from 2.30 to three, cause our school closes, or we dismiss at three, but from 2.30 to three, I'm gonna let them go. I'm gonna let them have work time on a math lesson that they might need or um, something that they may need to do. And then I'm gonna meet with parents. Um, this is just the first day of school. We also have several computer programs that we encourage our students to do. So I'm gonna have to build those into our day. So they won't be sitting in front of a computer all day. 
with me explicitly. They'll have to do some of their computer programs that we have to work on, but they can't do any of those just yet. So this is kind of the structure I think of my first day. Now I'm gonna go in here. I've already got my morning meeting. Um, actually, I don't wanna highlight. I'm just gonna put a little dot. I've already got my morning meeting um, and calendar done. So those are gonna be slides. I don't have to have a slide for this. I am gonna go in and create a slide for this because I have a whole little section on this, but I wanna, I wanna put this one in a slide, Pigeon Goes to School. Um, and I'm gonna be reading it for them, but I wanna put that in there. Um, and then I wanna create a slide for this one too. So I'm going to go do that. I can't show you the math slides, but that's where we're at. So I hope this was helpful. Um, me kind of thinking this out loud, it definitely helps me. So I hope it helps you zoom out and I'm going to go back to August and I'm going to erase my day one stuff on my lesson plan page. I'm going to erase that because I don't need that anymore. Let me make the big eraser. Um, and I don't know, I may just jot some notes down here. I know that the day one, first day of school is going to be crazy, so I'll probably pick up with Tuesday and I'll show you what that looks like probably tomorrow. So I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, so let me catch you up to what I've been doing. Not a lot. Um, first, I had a teacher come in and I visited with her for probably 45 minutes. So then I went down to see my principal and talk to him about um, my student list and whether I'm going to be online or virtual. I guess that's the same thing, online or in person or a mix of both. And I actually requested to be a mix of both because I want to start the school year with the babies that I have and get to know them and keep it as simple as possible. So it looks like, let me move you a little bit. Oh dear, I'm sorry. It looks like um, that's what I'm going to be doing, hopefully, if all works out. So I went ahead and created on my um, planner my student list, which I can't show you because it has private information on it, but I have put my students in there and um, put their information, their parent information, so that took forever on here. It's a lot easier to do that in the notebook, um, in the written form, and here that's really it's fussy. Um, so I don't like that, I will have to say. But I'm going to roll with it. It's in there now, and hopefully nothing will change. Um, we also had to film a video for Back to School, so I did that. And I'm going to eat lunch now because it is 2 o'clock and I haven't eaten, so I'm going to do that. Oh, I played around with this thing, so I showed you guys this, right? It's so cute, isn't it? I got it from SeaWorld, I was so excited about it. It had bubbles on it, but it won't work. I've changed the batteries. There's been four sets of batteries that have gone in this and it doesn't work. So I'm going to take it back to SeaWorld because teachers get in free at SeaWorld. So I'm going to drive myself there on one weekend and I'm going to take it back and I'm gonna hopefully get another one that works. And I'm gonna show them that it doesn't work and complain. Um, and then I'll probably just spend the day at SeaWorld having fun, <laughs> so. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Not much has gotten done, not much has changed. I'm still kind of iffy on the layout, but fortunately we have two weeks, at least without our students, where we're just going to be online only. So I'm not worried about the layout anymore. I'm gonna take the stuff home that needs to go home. I'm gonna set up the chairs like they need to be, and I'm going to say, um, call it good. I will not shoot a classroom setup video until closer to time when students come back. I, I will show you when I get everything cleaned up, what everything looks like, but as far as classroom setup, now we have students walking in the door. I will do that video right when that happens. So probably like the day before because everything's gonna change and look different. Well, not everything, but there's probably gonna be a lot of things that look different and we'll know more for sure by then anyway. So, um, but I will show you next, well, I guess tomorrow, I'll show you tomorrow where I'm at and what it looks like before I leave for the weekend. Um, so yeah, now I'm playing around with the the camera system that we have um, 
in place and trying to think about how that's going to look since I've volunteered myself to do that, which is going to be crazy, y'all. I'm going to have students at home, a lot of them, because most of my class list was at home. Um, and then a couple kids in the classroom with me while I'm teaching those students at home. I just, it's not necessarily what I wanted to do. I wanted to just have him give me all of the face-to-face -face kids, as many as he could, um, and fill me up. But what I suspect is going to happen is we're going to have a lot of parents that September, October is going to roll around and they're going to wish they had gone face to face. And if they're with the same teacher and if I'm comfortable doing it, then they'll just come back to my room. They won't have to go to another teacher after being with me for that long. So I wanted to just do what was best for my kiddos. So that's where we're going to leave it. So this just goes to show you that you should kind of hold off on some things. I got too excited and my daughter spent so much time her and her best friend spent all this time gluing this stuff down for me for this traveling word wall and now i'm only going to have a couple kids in class and the rest are going to be at home so what i think i'm going to do is i think i'm going to put this put a spiral notebook um, with the tape on it of course and our math manipulatives in their take-home bag and that way they have supplies at home um, so we're getting stuff together for like a go home bag and I'm going to put I think this in it and then as we're learning new words they have a word wall so they could practice their sight words. I think that'll work. But had we not been doing the, the go home bags then I, this would be pointless for us. So you might want to just be careful when you're doing stuff because that would have been a lot of stuff wasted for her. Okay. Okay. So my sound got off again, so I'm going to try this again. So <clears throat> I left off talking about the traveling word wall, and I was showing you my lesson plans on that we do at grade level. So my thought process is that I am going to use my paper planner to plan with my grade level and then transfer that over to my digital planner so I can still use my paper planner. Uh, okay. So I'm going to try doing it without today and see how I like it, but that would be a way I could use my paper planner. Um, and I was trying to show you something from, I think it's Create, Teach, Inspire, maybe, that um, this came from. Let me show you. Okay. So I think this is from Create, Teach, Inspire, but I think this is what I'm going to use for my newsletter. I bought this packet a couple days ago, and I think that's how I can use it. It's a great packet. I'll link it, but... Basically, you put your um, information at the top and then you just kind of do bullet points of what they're going to be doing in each subject area and you can customize it. Like this one has music on there and I'm not going to put the music on there. I'm going to put science there. Um, it has a spot for homework, but we're not going to be doing homework for a while. So I'm going to put like just read 20 nights, do your online activities, that sort of thing, and then review will be something else. So I think I'm going to put this on my online website, kind of like my web page for my parents. I just thought I'd share it because it's really, it's a really great product. And it saves me a lot of time. So there's that one. It's just a little bit more detailed. And then that one's got a little less things on it. So you can kind of customize it how you want. But great, great product. So I will link that in the description. And then I don't remember if I told you guys about these. So these are from Kindergarten Smorgasbord. And they're just buttons to help the students get to know, or cards of buttons, to help the students get to know their buttons on their Zoom or Google Meet or whatever um, website you use for your calls. So I'm going to, I printed these and I'm going to print the other ones. And he's also got like a rule set, online rule set, and he, those are free on his website so I will link that down below for you so I'm going to take our grade level lesson plans I'm going to put them in my digital planner and then I'm going to modify and edit where I need to so I can't show you guys all of that actually I can show you the digital planner part but I can't show you the grade level lesson plan part um, but I'll show you my planning part so if you do the same kind of thing at your school where you have um, a grade level plan but then you want to go in and punch in some of your own stuff I still, it's like, I'm, it almost feels like I'm triple planning sometimes, but then I really know what I'm teaching that week. So if there's a morning I come in 
and I'm behind or something, I still know what I'm teaching and I can, I can almost wing it. Um, so I think that's really helpful for me. So hopefully it'll be helpful for you. So I will video that part and I'm going to finish my lunch. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to do today before I head home is hang some letters. So I have these letters here. Um, can't remember what they say. Be kind, work hard, stay safe, I think, or play safe, something like that. Um, I'll link those down below, but I think I'm going to put them there. I usually have a um, shark on the wall that says take a bite out of a good book. Ooh, I ordered one. So no, I can't put those there. Ooh, where should I put these? Okay, this is where I put it. <laughs> Um, it's not my favorite spot because I am going to put student work, hopefully, up here. But it's okay for right now. My only other thought was maybe to put one right there, one way over there, and then like one on the door, on top of the door, um, and have them separated. But I like them together. So, and don't, I, I, I can't do anything about the the white inside there now. I know it kind of looks funny, but it has to be okay for now because I've got to get finished setting up. So be kind, work hard, play safe. I know that they're crooked. Um, I know that this one's not as crooked. It looks funny to me, but it's up and six-year-olds aren't going to care. The only other thing I could do is just try to cram them all in up there, but I'd have to bring a ladder. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I told you my phrase this year is going to be, I don't know. So I think that that's what I'm going to say. I don't know. So I'm going to wrap up for today. I got basically week one planned. I am going to keep my teacher planner, my paper version, and I'm going to use it like I thought because I was getting frustrated with my digital planner today when I was trying to plan. So I am going to keep my teacher planner. I'm going to go home. I'm going to plan tonight. I'm going to finish making slides for Monday because that's what I'm also going to work on tomorrow is my slides for next week. I'm going to finish kind of pinpointing everything that I need, get everything scanned because the first six or first two weeks are um, digital. So I have to get all of the stuff that I need them to do sorted, separated, scanned. So I got to go through all my stuff tomorrow. So I have to get everything planned tonight so I can scan it in and I can show you what I'm using tomorrow. Um, but as for today, I'm going to head home so that I can plan from home, um, spend time with my kids a little bit and cook dinner. <laughs> so um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, um, subscribe and share out my videos so that they can reach other teachers. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.